Brace yourselves for a double dose of toddler triumphs. We're talking about the milestones of your terrific two-year-old. We're thrilled to have with us occupational therapist Katiso Ndumo. Welcome Katiso. Good to be back. Double the excitement, double the discovery. Listen, I am personally excited. My son is almost two, mm. so I am listening. Children are like such sponges at this age. Mm. They are soaking up new experiences. Can you tell us what are the significant milestones that parents can look out for in a two-year-old? So the most popular ones at two years, we are looking at potty training. Mm. They're more uh, independent. They want to express themselves a little bit more. Their language is more developed. They're saying a lot more. They're also just trying to explore within the environment. On language development, what are some practical ways that I, as a mom to an almost two-year-old, can enrich his vocab? You don't have to wait for him to be two years old. As you continue reading to him, showing him pictures mm -hmm. of animals, the different sounds that they make, mm. you want to be more expressive, be more animated, make the sounds, yeah. sing to him, and let him mimic you, and let him also just you know, express himself in the way you're expressing yourself. Okay. So um, that's one way. Another way is that um, you just want to encourage him to also understand what's within his environment. So descriptive language of different things within the home mm -hmm. and within the routines like we spoke about um, before with the one-year-old. Even here, it's a little bit more advanced. A few, um, you know, milestones at this age are like potty training, which I still need to do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleeping in big beds, yeah. managing tantrums, yes. while also, you know, allowing them to still keep the independence, mm. right? It's a lot. Mm. Yeah. It's easier said than done. It's, you know, as a therapist, I say it so many times, but as a mom, I have, you know, experience and understanding of what parents actually go through. Mm -hmm. So with potty training, you want to make sure that they are ready to potty train. Are they getting more dry diapers um, in the day, you know, and are they actually ready to start expressing themselves to say they, they need to use the toilet? So you want to also improve the, the amount of time, the frequency that you do it, including alarms, maybe even every two hourly. So that's one of the ways. And with transitioning into a new bed, it can be overwhelming for them. So it, you could even help them choose the new bed. Mm -hmm. um, seeing that, okay, um, this is a new, new bed, you're transitioning, you're a big boy now. So encouraging him and also making them feel secure, safe, adding those um, rails around the bed, and just making sure that you're consistent within their bedtime routine. Consistency is the main thing with, with, with potty okay. training, okay. Um, with you know transitioning to a new bed, with tantrums, managing their behavior, <laughs> yeah. consistency. And what role does playtime or physical activity have on a two-year-old's development? You still want to make it uh, very sensory, you still want to go out in the park, Yes. Um, you still want them to go in those jungle gyms, climb on their swing, mm -hmm. Um, as well as just making sure that also if maybe you cannot go out, um, still making sure that they play outdoors a lot. Yes. A lot of outdoor play is very important for them. And um, with, with the, the, this age, it's a lot of more concepts. So during the play, you want to actually label a few things or even things like matching colors when you're having your little obstacle course. Mm -hmm. You can use those, those colored balls and oh, have yeah, little yeah. different um, buckets. So the yellow goes into the yellow bucket. So you mm. see you adding the gross motor play with basic concepts of color matching and naming the colors as well. Two-year-olds can be quite independent, right? So how can parents strike that balance between fostering independence while maintaining, um, I guess, boundaries, necessary boundaries? Yeah, so two-year-olds, two uh, sure, they're quite interesting. Hey? No. Um, they have a personality of their own yes. at that age. So even though you want them and to be independent, you have to give them options within bounds. So for example, in terms of dressing or um, maybe um, food items that they want to eat, mm. you still want to give them two um, healthy options of food items, okay. and they're still choosing between those two. It's still controlled. Even with clothing, for example, you obviously wouldn't, if it's cold, you don't want to give them um, options between a short and long pants. What if they choose a short? So mm. still give them options of long pants or something warm okay. but you know that it's not going to be detrimental to them okay. so you want to guide them make sure that you reinforce them you make sure that you want to praise them reward them for their good choices and the independence gati so thank you so much for talking us through these terrific milestones it's been a blast thank you so much Gabeto. best made medical scheme provides you with healthcare cover that's personally yours making those stepping stones into your future even more memorable mm -hmm.